Hello there, this is Big Benedict. We're playing RE4 on professional difficulty, and this is my no damage guide for the aforementioned title. We are on 3-4, and the first thing you're going to do here is free Ashley from her uh, from her bindings right there, and we're just going to be sniping enemies. In the last video, I was uh, I was cut off during a, a tangent I was talking about of of how it it isn't possible to transfer skill to someone and I had left a comment on the Godfather Dictator's video of uh, the Vanquish final bosses and I basically told him that you know all, although your video was was amazing and impressive very good quality inspiring um, you know it, it, even though it's all, all those things it's not helpful to me and I meant that in the 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 most respectful way possible and he knows that because we we chatted on twitch a little bit which i alluded to in the previous video um you know he he took no offense to it and and uh, i just I, I think it's something that you have to get into the pit and learn how to survive on vanquish and that's the bottom line because I don't know of a, any other game that's as hard as that game. Um, you know, so I will, I will look forward to, to trying to once again acclimatize myself to the game, get back into that snake pit, so to speak, and see if I can pull out a victory. So if ever a day comes when you see a a Vanquish title card that says 5-3 Godard Vanquish in crimson tint, blood red crimson tint to differentiate it from the other um, black title title cards in the Vanquish guy that I have not deleted. You'll know that an important day has come, a day that I never thought would, would come, that I beat the bosses. Now, let's drop that subject because I, I do want to talk about this. It takes three throws with the lantern to take care of these monks. And what happens here is that she just throws it automatically. So what you have to do is there is no aiming involved. It's just have the guy come as close as possible. You press the X button and then she throws it. It doesn't even matter about the arc. She'll just throw it. And it's a little bit horrible to be brutally honest and what you, what you should do each time you you kill one of the two monks uh, some of this is just shameless I mean you could see right up her skirt and as much as you know that 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 is nice I mean it, it's just I don't know what they were thinking you know a little bit of fan service but you do want to save it at the typewriter and, and the lovely thing about this you know beyond the the um, ability to see right up her skirt and see her panties is that um, uh, there's a typewriter and also that you can um, <laughs> guy was doing circles man uh, <laughs> uh, fuck um, oh yeah you can collect a bunch of stuff here and then what you do is you'll be giving it to Leon I, per I like these sections here because it's uh, it's a nice change of pa change of pace. She's defenseless. It would be nice if she had come some kind of a, a stomp. I'm not asking for something as uh, as uh, like as ferocious as Isaac's stomp in Dead Space D Dead Space Two, with some kind of an attack. But she lacks that function, and it's okay though. So basically, until we meet up with uh, Leon, it's going to be just a lot of running around. And I had no idea that you played as her when I first went through the campaign on normal. And it was re very refreshing. I, I enjoyed enjoyed this. So this puzzle is potentially pretty tricky. So everything, she has her own little suitcase that you can store things in. There aren't too many things to find, but I would, I would, 
I would go, definitely go out of my way to find everything so that you could pass them on. It, you know, my 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 Leon character did need a few of the of the red herbs, so it's nice that you can collect them as her. But we are going to be coming on a, coming up on a sequence which is quite unnerving. That is um, running past some knights whom you suspect will animate, and they do. I think it's after you do the puzzle though. Now this is a puzzle in itself. What you do is you push the cabinet to reveal the switch, and you need to press that switch first. Collect this, you know, just go around collecting things, and then go under here, and then you'll be pressing this switch, and, and notice what it does. It opens that door, but then closes that that gate, which is which has a like kind of a rust, rusty red color to it. And then you want to press this switch, backtrack, don't forget that because that will be one of the puzzle pieces, and then you want to press this switch again, and then that's the solution to the puzzle. So some gold in here. Another velvet blue. And yeah, we won't be running from anything until we do that puzzle. And it's it's essentially just a sliding puzzle with different squares. And if you're having trouble, you can do the exact moves that I do over here. Um, you can move two at a time if the, th if the slides that you're moving are connected pieces that are in the picture, like the order of the picture. So, like, see how I did that? Those two pieces were adjacent, and I can move both pieces. I did that just randomly, just correctly, when I was doing it right there. But when I originally played it, I got very frustrated and had to look on the internet. Um, but something of note over here is that the evade quick time event is either right trigger and left trigger or X plus A. Now if you're ever uncertain about which one you're gonna get because it's completely random, what you can do actually is is press all four buttons at once, which is what I do. These guys are just gonna be run from but I think some of something over here. I mean, you could see like she's gonna fall on the ground. You could see very plainly her panties. So I just thought that was it's kind of shameless, kind of exploitative. But that that's what you do. You just you press right trigger, plus left trigger, and then plus the X plus A button to make sure that you get the quick time event. I imagine it will help us on Krauser when we have similar uh, QTEs. That are uncertain. So, what we're going to do is place this circular item. See, I don't even think I, I killed the monks the first time I played this game. I was I was running all over the place, scared as hell. Like all the shots of her, they're just so suggestive. And I'm I'm fine with that. I mean, it, it's it's nice, but I mean, it's just it, it is kind of distasteful. I think sometimes, especially you know, it's it's definitely someone who's like 16 years old. But anyway, let's not complain about it too much because it is kind of nice to look at. And what I want you to do is take care.